All right, we're back with a very exciting update. Here we have our Pi board connected by USB to the laptop, and here we have our uh, micro uh, pro processing environment in Python mode. Now we're going to try uh, try to see what's happening here. First of all, I'm going to load the emulator, and you'll see the Python board will uh, flash a sequence of LEDs because it is a uh, that proves that it's connected and has ha received a first uh, set of set of commands. Here we're going to try to get it to focus, but it's not easy for this thing to focus apparently on the uh, on the, the screen. Anyway, what we see here is a. Uh, I just won't focus. I'm sorry. I can't get it to focus. A little bit earlier, it could. Um, anyway, so what you see here is that first each each of these little uh, asterixy lines are are send between here. So we have a full send here. This was the initialization sequence, which was when the uh, when the app the pi the pi boards app was executed. And here we have some things uh, which cannot be. Uh, we created an instance of the uh, preset configurations. Okay. And then we found out we couldn't send uh, a couple of commands, the tremolo and vibrato, because that's not implemented yet on the Pi board. And here we have a long send, which is the uh, setting up of all the shift registers corresponding to this, this uh, configuration, which you can probably see, I hope, here. Yes. So that's series connection of A, inverted B, and then parallel C and D. Uh, with these different volume and tone range and tone settings. And so you see we can click and make impact and that will send us new, will send new stuff off to the uh, to the um, pie board and it all works. If we step back, we can see that the trackball works. It's very responsive. And uh, we've seen already that these will send off just a little messages because they're not yet implemented cannot send, cannot send. And here we have the uh, the selectors for our multiple positions. So we can see that it's not exactly responsive, but it's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty, pretty good. See that these all work. Oh, wait, I missed it. I'm trying to connect. Kick. There we go. That connects there. And also that the, uh, the LCD interface, we can create a very simple single coil configuration. Let's just make coil B all by itself. Okay, I don't know if you can see coil B there. And click, and we see the configuration here, which was sent off for coil B. Um, okay, so this demonstrates clearly that the, pro the Python mode in the processing environment can use serial communication using Pi serial encapsulated in a, a clever. Uh, a clever serial interface, which would encapsulate serial wrapper, which uh, allows it to work in the uh, micro in the Python uh, processing Python environment. Uh, these are all things which were provided by others, including the Pi board uh, program, which allows you to send commands across the USB to the Python interpreter on the Pi board. Uh, so everything is really cool. The next step is to connect it to the uh, actual physical guitar. Thank you.